Hi, everybody. We're here today with Jess Huerta, a UCLA Tillman scholar, who's going to share a few tips with you. Um, wanted to just start out, Jess, if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what year you got selected as a Tillman scholar. Okay. Hi, Emily. Hi, everybody. Um, I am a sociology doctoral candidate. Um, I've been in the university since 2012, so this, this makes my tenure mark. Um, as Emily knows, I've, I've also still been serving with the California Air National Guard. Um, and I was selected, thankfully, I'm so grateful for the Pat Tillman Foundation selecting me as a scholar in 2020. So as we can all remember, you know, there was just so much uncertainty and everything was shutting down and, um, you know, there was just a lot of tension. So when I got the news that I was selected as one of the scholars in 2020, I was overjoyed and boy, has it been such a great experience. The, the community is just so inspiring. All the people there are just so giving and wonderful. And each time I learn more and more about Pat, I'm just awed with the the kind of individual that he was. He really truly was. So can you tell us, you know, a little bit, how do you feel that the Pat Tillman Foundation has supported you in your research as a, you know, as a PhD student? Great, yeah. So one of the ways, uh, <laughs> very simple and subtle ways uh, is just uh, first off, beating that imposter syndrome, right? Like the community and just the, the brilliance of other people and recognizing that, oh my God, these are my peers. That's, that's really cool. Like I could sit at the table with them and feel like I belong. And um, that, that is already boosting my confidence to speak up in academic, you know, conferences and just low stakes, informal conversations over a glass of wine about you know, certain theories. So first off, that imp imposter syndrome being something that I can chip away at, like push away mm -hmm. <laughs> that. Um, they are also, of course, you know, the scholarship, uh, the 10,000 goes far, going beyond the tuition, you know, um, for kicking off my dissertation, I wanted to make a website. And so having that knowledge that I have money in the bank from PTF, it was freeing to me and that I can pay for my website for two years, bought my own domain, bought business cards, you know, um, and then I'm also hiring an undergraduate as part of that, that grant that I got from PTF. And I feel free to do that. And I feel like I have this money and I need to put it to use. Um, over the weekend with the Pet Town and Regional Captains, I learned that if I presented a conference, they can also help cover the cost of traveling there and lodging. Um, mm -hmm. So that was that was really great. Um, also, the tools within PTF, like the Tillman Connect, um, I'm able to like reach people that could be my potential interview subjects. <laughs> it feels weird calling them subjects, <laughs> but. Um, it expands the network and also um, because they want to promote the foundation and they want to promote the scholars, I kind of put both missions, uh, promoting the foundation and promoting my own work uh, together when they invited me to the Super Bowl Expo that was in our backyard, you know, at the LA Convention Center. Um, so they wanted me to talk about the foundation. They wanted me to talk about what I do. So I'm like, hey, you know, my study is open right now and here's my card. So um, those those two things were really wonderful. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And what a great Super Bowl for us LA fans. So um, fantastic. So so how do you feel that, that being a scholar in the Pat Tillman Foundation community has impacted you? I know you referenced a little bit about the community itself, but... Um, you know, are there any other insights to share about that? Yeah, you know, the camaraderie mm -hmm. is, is something that I'm really, you know, reflecting on how grateful I am. Um, I, over the weekend, you know, I was invited to this uh, regional captain summit. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to say yes yet and take on the, the new challenge of being a captain for SoCal. Um, but other people went who I have been in communication with, for instance, I really needed an accountability partner in the middle of the pandemic. 
you know, being a mom of two and, and uh, having to do distance learning, I was trying to find chunks of time, like give me at least two hours in the day, just to like, let me do my work. And so I experimented with making myself believe I lived in New York time. <laughs> <laughs> so I was getting up at 730 in New York time, which is before 30 for us. And it became very difficult to do that on my own pressure. So I mm-hmm. thought, who do I know in the East Coast that is up, that is working, that can just open a Zoom and make sure I show up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> do mm-hmm. I have coffee? Do mm-hmm. I have my materials? Am I awake? Yeah. <laughs> so I was able to meet uh, with Emily, Emily on blog, another Emily, mm-hmm. um, who, who's from Philly. Uh, with I saw her this weekend and it felt like we had been friends forever even though during that eight week uh, experimental period you know of her making sure I was awake um, <laughs> it felt it felt like we we had such a connection you know and then everybody else somebody gave um, a presentation about knowing who you are and what is your mission and so he used a lot of his own personal examples and his own reflection process mm-hmm. and just just I was just in awe of how great he was and then you know working through the exercises we got to hear other people's mission statements and Mm -hmm. they're just so inspiring and to know the problems that they're trying to find solutions for and um, how they work together and it's it's amazing and I'm so happy and proud to be part of it. Well, thank you so much, uh, Jess. We really appreciate you sharing your story um, and you know how the Im- foundation has impacted you. The application is still open. It closes at the end of the month in February. Um, if you want more information and how to find out about um, the application process, you can go to pattillmanfoundation.org and click on the apply tab. So, Well, thanks so much, Jess. We hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, please reach out if you have any questions.